Chapter 1 Moles and Equations Part 3 If you haven't watched the first two parts, their links are in the description. As for this part, the final part of this chapter, the targets are Perform calculations including use of the mole concept involving reacting masses, volumes of gases, volumes and concentrations of solutions. Deduct stoichiometric relationships from calculations involving reacting masses, volumes of gases, and volumes and concentrations of solutions. How to calculate the concentration of a solution? As a chemist, this is very simple and easy task to do. But what is the concentration of a solution? The concentration of a solution is the amount of solute dissolved in a solvent to make one cubic decimeter of the solution. Keep in mind, the solvent is usually water. This means that if one mole of a compound is dissolved to make one decimeter cube of solution, the concentration is one mole per decimeter cube. To find the concentration of a solution, we divide the number of moles of the solute by the volume of the solution. Remember that a concentrated solution is a solution which contains high amount of solute dissolved and a dilute solution is a solution which contains low amount of solute dissolved. For example, we want to calculate the concentration of sodium hydroxide if 250 cm3 of a solution contains 2 grams of sodium hydroxide. We first change grams to moles. In this case, we divide the mass of NaOH that is 2 gram by the MR value which is 40 to get 0 0.05 moles of NaOH. Then we change centimeter cubes to decimeter cubes and obviously we do this by dividing 250 with 1000 that gives us 0.25 decimeter cubes. And finally calculate the concentration by dividing the number of moles with volume giving 0.2 moles per decimeter cube. Sometimes we have the concentration and volume of a solution, but we want to calculate the mass of the solution solute. To do so, we first calculate the number of moles of solute by multiplying the concentration with the volume. Then, we multiply moles of solute by its smaller mass. For example, let's calculate the mass of copper to sulfate in 0.055 decimeter cube or 55 centimeter cube of a 0.2 mole per decimeter cube solution of copper to sulfate. As we said, we first multiply concentration with volume to find the number of moles of copper to sulfate given 0.011 mole. Then we multiply the number of moles with molar mass giving 1.8 grams. Now let's talk about the stoichiometry of a reaction. We can find the stoichiometry of a reaction if we know the amounts of each reactant that exactly react together and the amounts of each product formed. In simple English, this means that if we react 4 grams of hydrogen with 32 grams of oxygen, we get 36 grams of water. Using atomic masses, we get the 2 ratio, 1 ratio, 2 ratio. This ratio is the ratio of stoichiometric numbers in the equation. So the equation is 2 hydrogen molecules plus 1 oxygen molecule gives 2 water molecules. Calculations involving gas volumes. At room temperature and pressure, 1 mole of any gas has a volume of 24 cubic decimeters. So, 24 cubic decimeters of carbon dioxide and 24 cubic decimeters of hydrogen both contain 1 mole of gas molecules. This is called the Avogadro's hypothesis. We can use this hypothesis to find the volume of a gas if we know how heavy it is or the number of moles of the gas or vice versa. For example, let's calculate the volume of 0.4 moles of nitrogen at room temperature and pressure. The volume is equal to 24 multiplied by the number of moles of the gas, which is equal to 24 multiplied by 0.4, giving 9.6 cubic decimeters. Gas volumes and stoichiometry. We can use the ratio of reacting volumes of gases to find the stoichiometry of a reaction. This is because the ratio of a volume will be equal to the ratio of moles. You may have figured this out using Avogadro's hypothesis. If you like the content, press the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, inquiries or suggestions, send me an email. My email is in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Also don't forget to study and that education is light.